all right so in this video we are asked to find the the value of this we should evaluate okay so you can see that this is actually roots of uh, sorts and i've done videos on this channel that handled that so but of course you know that if we want to take the root of this and then take the root of this and subtract that that is going to take a lot of time and you know that this is from olympiad exam and of course it's an exam that deals with time so what do we do we will try to see if it is possible to use another means to get what we are looking for so you can easily see that the values under the roots here are simply conjugates of each other and so can i simply give names to these uh, values and see what that does for me so if i call the first one a okay so now from here i can easily now take away the root of course you know whenever there is root or square root you know it's usually a little bit uh, difficult to handle so can we clear the root? if we do that we are going to get that a squared is equal to 2 plus the root of 3 and then if i do the same for b i will get that b squared is equal to 2 minus the root of 3 and then immediately i am getting these values which are actually conjugates of each other so and i can then do something which is to try to uh, multiply the two of them and so if i multiply a squared by b squared i am going to get uh, 2 plus uh, the root of 3 multiplying 2 minus the root of 3 but like i said these are conjugates of each other and so you will just uh, square each of them so you are going to have uh, two squared of course there are difference of two squares um uh, yeah two squares also so and then i'll have minus uh, three squared okay which is simply going to give me one because two squared is four and the square of the root of three will give you three right so now what do i do next okay so going forward now from what we have here remember from my substitution what we are asked to evaluate now will now be simply a minus b okay so how do i get a minus b now you recall that from quadratic equations or quadratic roots if i take um, the square of a minus b of course this is the same thing as a squared minus 2ab and then uh, plus uh, b squared okay so kindly of course when you open this bracket that's a minus b multiplied by a minus b if you do that you would of course get this okay so let's now try to substitute what we have now remember what our a is uh, this guy here okay so if we substitute if we take the square of it we will simply get 2 plus the root of 3 and then minus 2 into meanwhile we have gotten our a b now and how did we do that recall that we got a squared that's this person a squared b squared which is the same thing as a b squared as equal to one and if we take the square root to the other sorry the square to the other side it becomes square root which will give us the square root of one and so that is equal to one so our a b is actually equal to one and then finally we can then have our b squared which is the square of this and of course if you square you will only get uh, two minus the root of three okay so and then let's now try to evaluate what we have and if we do that this is going to give us and what is this going to do for us this of course will take away this while this guy will take away this guy so here we just have two meanwhile recall that what we are asked to get this is your a minus b squared the what we are asked to get is only a minus b remember we, we we reduce this into a minus b and so by the time we now get our a minus b so it means that a minus b will simply be the root of two and it is enough to leave it this way as the solution to this problem 
all right and that's what we said to bring to us today on our channel kindly subscribe to our youtube channel do give a thumbs up to this video and share our videos to your friends we'll see you in our next video bye